Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. These cars have spent more than 40 years submerged at the bottom of Foss Lake in western Oklahoma. Investigators can peel apart the metal and hardware with their bare hands as they look for clues. Two corroded rifles, a muddied wallet and purse, and the remains of six people, three in each car. It's one fluke discovery that might have solved two long forgotten mysteries. In 1970, three teenagers in a 1969 Camaro disappeared. The mystery of what happened to Jimmy Williams, Michael Rios, and Leah Johnson made headlines in the local newspapers. And the year before, in April of 1969, John Alva Porter and two friends were driving around in a 1950s Chevy and never seen again. More than 40 years later, two cars matching those same descriptions were found sitting right next to each other in this lake. It's been so long, it's been 44 years, you know, it's, there's a lot of things in between there that, that we can't answer because we don't know. We, it's like through the years, what happened, what happened, just a mystery, we don't know. Debbie McMenamin was 13 years old when her grandpa Porter vanished. He was here one day and the next day he was gone. I mean, no trace, no, you know, clue at all. I mean, he, his bank account was there, his house was locked up, utilities were on. You know, he just walked away. Alvy Porter, as he was known, performed in Wild Wild West shows, riding bulls around Oklahoma. Porter's oldest son, Irvy Porter, is now 85 and suffering from dementia. After investigators stopped looking for his father, he acted as his own detective, you, 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 hunting down every clue he could. But you spent a lot of time looking for him? You betcha. Still looking for him. But this is going to help me a whole lot. Last week, Oklahoma Highway Patrol divers were testing new underwater sonar equipment when they discovered the two cars. It wasn't until the cars were pulled out of the water that the bones were found inside. Divers went back in the water and found even more remains. The Oklahoma medical examiner will use DNA to identify the bodies. It could take days, maybe even years, to positively do that. Alexa White's mother was John Porter's sister. She hopes her mother can finally find the answers that have eluded their family for more than four decades. It has been difficult not knowing what did happen to her father. Uh, she never had that closure or the peace of mind or comfort. Always that uncertainty and why did it happen? What did happen? Uh, why can't we find what happened? Um, and I'm hoping that this will bring closure.